before any immune mechanism can go into action, there must be a recognition that something exists for it to act against. Normally, this means foreign materials such as virus, bacteria, or other infectious organisms. This recognition is carried out by a series of recognition molecules or receptors. Some of these circulate freely in blood or body fluids. Others are fixed to the membranes of various cells or reside inside the cell cytoplasm. In every case, some constituents of the foreign materials must interact with the recognition molecules like a key fitting into a white lock. This initial act of recognition opens the doors that leads eventually to a full immune response. These receptors are quite different in the innate and the adaptive immune system. The innate system possesses a limited number known as pattern recognition receptors, abbreviated as PRRs, which have been selected during evolution to recognize structures common to the groups of disease-causing organisms. Also, abbreviated as the PMPs known as the pathogen-associated molecular patents. One example is the lipopolysaccharides in some bacterial cell walls. These PRRs act as the early warning systems of immunity, triggering a rapid inflammatory response which precedes and is essential for a subsequent adaptive response. Now, in contrast, the adaptive system has thousands of millions of different receptors on its B and T lymphocytes, each one exquisitely sensitive to one individual molecular structure. The responses triggered by these receptors often offer more effective protection against infection, but are usually much slower to develop. Linking the two systems are the families of major histocompatibility complex molecules, abbreviated as MHC. They are specialized for serving up foreign molecules to T lymphocytes. Another set of linking receptors are those by which molecules such as antibody and complement become bound to the cells where they can themselves act as receptors.